Monday, Parshas Bahar and Etz Yisrael, Emor in Chutz Loretz. As we are approaching the end of the Sugi of Tzadik Viralai, there are some details that weren't discussed, which are not mentioned beferish in this part of Chavis Alvovis, but it's, it's important to uh, to mention it in order to have a, a clarity in the Sugi of, of Tzadik Viralai, which we're looking for the answers. Why would it be that a person would be suffering if they're if they're a good tzaddik? You should be. Uh, he should. He, he should be rewarded. Why don't we see it? We saw many answers, but here we have a piece of the Baal Haleshem. The Baal Haleshem was the grandfather of Rebel Yashiv, very big Makubu. The Baal Haleshem. He mentions in his Sefer another two concepts that a person should have in mind if we see people that are being Mekayim Torah and Mitzvah so beautifully and you don't see that they're being rewarded in this world. You don't see the Baha'i Yom Shemaya happening. So be aware of another two concepts that could answer that question. First one, he says, really that in the Sefer, the Baal Lesham, when he's trying to explain before this is, he's saying that Bitochen always works to bring to the person toiv nigla. A person that has bitochen, he's going to see that he's going to be nitzel from the Torah. So he says, but we see kedoshim, we see so people that were amazing people, and they, they had Torahs, they were nitzel from the Torah. How could it be? So he says, well, number one, a lot of these tzaddikim, mida acher es What? They, they, they wanted the Yisurim to continue on, and they didn't fight it with Bitochen. That's what he says in the Sefer. They knew that they have in their back pocket, as to say, they have an op- they have something that they could use, a tool, a technique in Ruchnius, which could wash away that they should be having a better Gash music life. But they, they didn't, they figured they don't want, they would rather want Hashem's plan. Now, he brings, first let's say to the Gumois, he says, well, we have Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Kiva, we had mentioned a lot about Rabbi Kiva Tzadik Virali. He mentions a, a shtickal point. He says, look at it in this angle. Kol mosa That means that the, 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 the Talmidim asked him, how could it be? He says, I want. He could have, he, he, the Lesham learns that if Rabbi Kiva would have actually wanted, he could have believed that Hashem was going to save him. And he could have said, Hashem is not going to let me go through this. And then he would have got saved. But he figured, that's not what I want. Because Hashem put me into this situation, and I always bemis wanted to be Zach Moise Nefesh. I was harsh to be Zach Moise Nefesh. It's very high Madrega. But in that high Madrega, the, the Rabbi Kiva wanted it. So don't ask questions from the, that person that it didn't work. What didn't work? He requested it. Imagine someone comes into a store and buys a sandwich and they have big advertising that you could put into your sandwich whatever you want for this amount of money. You could just put in what, how many vegetables, and whatever you want. And then you have a guy that walks out with a thin little sandwich. He says, I saw you saying, he says, the guy said it, that's what he wants. Talk to him. <laughs> Talk to him. He requested that he wants it like that. You have shreimel machas, that they don't want to make shreimel that are not high enough. They're scared that people are going to find that, hey, he makes such low shreimel, they're not going to go there. He, said, he requested it, that's what he wanted. That's the, the, the so he brings, on Reb Lozab Reb Shimon, the famous Gemara of Metzid Af Pedalet, the Reb Lozab, the son of Reb Shimon, were actually, Heading into the yard side of Reb Shimon Bar the son of Rabbi and the Maira, Rabbi Loza Reb Shimon said, "Achai v'reyai." He 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 discussed. Uh, he he called the Yisurim. The name that he gave to the Yisurim was his friends. He he asked them to come. He wants the Yisurim. And he brings another few gemaras. He says that's one reason why tzaddikim suffer because they don't want to change the status quo that Hashem prepared for them. In the early shiurim already, we learned that bitochen is a mitzvah. That is, so how can a person be mavater of being in a matzah of bitochen even for such a No, it was in, the, in their hands totally to have the bitochen and to say, I'm not going to get it or I'm going to get it. Last week we spoke about that. 
Okay. So it means that they. And then it doesn't work. Right. We learned that if, if someone has bitachon and he's doing it just because he wants it to help, then it's not going to work. So we really need to explain both of these questions. Let's stop here and explain. Very, very important. There are many levels in bitachon. The Chavis Avobis explains soon in Shara bitachon. Bitachon is not one level. There's a lot of madregis in bitachon. Now, on a lower level of bitachon, the person still has very, very much his own rotsen. He has very, very much his own rotsen. He can't make believe that he doesn't want because he really, really very badly wants one outcome over the other. There's a very high level of bitachon that the person is so stark, b'iteyach, and Hashem, he trusts Hashem, and he wants what Hashem wants, that he says, what I want, I want what Hashem wants. I have no absolutely no rotsen. Uh, Hashem is taking care of me. I, even if Hashem would ask me, Hashem would ask me, so what do you want? I would say, I don't know. How could I know what I want? I will know whatever Hashem wants. Does that madrega of bitachon? That's a high madrega bitachon. Then there's a lower madrega bitachon. A person says, I'm not going to deny. <laughs> I want very badly one way. I can understand that I'll be a muna. Everything is really for the better. But it's very tough. Why am I davening so hard if it doesn't make a difference to me? So this topic, that there's two madregas of bitachon, there's more than two, but this is a lower madrega of bitachon, but it's also bitachon. Then there's a higher madrega of bitachon, where the person is being mevatl himself totally to Hashem. Both are called bitachon, because both are called trusting in Hashem. Both. There's trusting in Hashem to the extent that I'm not around anymore. That's a very high madrega. Sadiqim said, I trust so badly that I want to just be moish and nefesh. Bye. And then there's a madrega. I'm here. And I have issues in my life, and I have ritzoynis. There's a famous word from the Satmerov, he says in the Sefer Divri Yoyal on Parshas Vayeshev, that the Gemara says that Hashem created the Ovois, the Imohois, they shouldn't be able to have children. Why were the Ovois, why were the Imohois Akorois? Why were they born and they couldn't have children? They needed to daven and turn over various of us until they had children. So the Gemara says, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu Misava let Vilosan Shal Tzadikim and Hashem wanted they should daven Hashem knew it's good for them to daven Hashem likes to hear them daven. So the Satan have said that Tzadikim they reached a level that they that they don't want anything. They want whatever Hashem wants. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu Misava let Vilosan He wants their Tfila but they're not davening. They're saying it's fine. Would you need something? Could I? No. <laughs> Hashem could prepare this for me, it's good. So the only topic that would bother the tzaddik is if he doesn't have children, it's so deep because it's the whole future and it's a ruchni, is the future. Especially, how the Zohar HaKadosh explains, bro, mazaka, abba, it's, a, it's a very important for the neshama to leave descendants. He should have the toilodis. So that could bother the tzaddik. We know that the Satmarov had this Yisurim, he had children. But the children were all left to Bechayev. So he said this Torah. And he said, that even at Sadiq, that hurts him. And he starts davening. Hashem knew that if he was going to test the Ovois with something else, it would not create the situation of Tzfila, that they're not going to daven. It just it brings out the point that that level of Bitochen is the level of Bitochen. So now back to us, to the idea, the concept that this Sadiq, this Makubu, the Lesham is explaining to us. He's saying... A person, a regular guy, he has Yisurim and he's listening to Shiurim that if you're going to have Bitochan, this could change and that could change and you can thank Hashem and it's, it's just going to happen miraculously, it's going to come, come in a true. He's wondering if it works for him by me, why doesn't it work for the Tzaddik? And he's very, he's mixed up. And what the Lashem is saying, he's saying it's, it's two levels. It's very, very posh it. Both levels of bitachon work. Both levels of bitachon. And both are bitachon. It just depends on where you are. 
in those in in the, in the climbing the ladder where you are, which level of bitochen is the level of bitochen that's that's the level that you're supposed to be uh, where you are up to in the in the bitochen. Now, in between, I just want to mention in between these two levels, there are a situation where a person wants very badly one way, but he's working on himself. Work on himself. He's saying, "Listen, I think I can handle it. I'm I'm going to be honest." It's going to be very hard to me, tough. But if Hashem wants that, then I want what Hashem wants. He's fighting with himself. A person should know they're not going to lose out by working on themselves. We mentioned that the previous week. People would think, but if I'm going to be a tzaddik, then I'm just going to... That's how it's going to... Never, you're never going to lose out. Because as a person is climbing the ladder of bitochen to be maskim to what Hashem wants, it comes along with that amazing feeling of closeness to Hashem, which complements it, which makes the person feel so at peace with the matzim and so besimcha, that a person be'emes reaches a level that, again, they're not that level, the tzaddik, it makes no difference in their life, but they're not depressed in any way. They, they, they're they happy, they know something is happening with them. They know it, it, it's a good... It, it, it's whatever is supposed to be happening is happening, even though they're working on themselves. Now, there's an interesting explanation in the Sefer Beis Elohim from the Mabit. He has very you saw this in, in Yiddishkeit explains how Truva works, how we a lot of how Tefillah works, and the, the Beis Elohim in the Sefer Shara Truva Perik Tes says. A beautiful piece, he brings a beautiful piece explaining the Gemara Masechtas Brochus, which you can't really finish the topic. Uh, actually, you can, you can never finish, but you can go on without mentioning that piece of Gemara and Brochus. The, the, the Sugya in Masechtas Brochus Davov, which mentions the topic of being Makabi Surah Bahava. So the, the, the Gemara brings many stories of Amiroim, which they said. They had Yisurim, and they, th- they they said, when they came to, vi- different Amiroim came to visit them, and they said, I don't want the Yisurim, I don't need not the Shur, not, not the Yisurim, not the Shar, not the reward for the Yisurim. It's like, no thanks. Or, Hashem wants to give me Shar, He wants to give me Yisurim, and then reward me for the Yisurim, it's fine. It was discussing Makabal Yisurim Bahava, the biggest Amaroim. How could they say, how could they say, Lo Yehim Velo Yischoron? There's many explanations. There's a Marsha, there's a Al Sheikh. But we'll mention the, the concept of Mabit, which is Negea for every person. He, say, he says, he says like this We know that Yisurim, if a person doesn't want the Yisurim, he, how do we say it? He rejects the Yisurim, he he fights it. Then the Yisurim can't really make the person closer to Hashem, because the person is not connecting to Hashem. He's upset. He's broigus. The koyach of Yisurim to be able to bring the person closer to Hashem is the person understands that Hashem is talking to him and he has achno. That's when Yisurim really work and the person really gets elevated from these Yisurim. So he says, very interesting. These Amiroim, in their level that they were, they got the Yisurim. When it, the Yisurim reached a level that they felt that they're not right now in the matzav of being able to be makabalat enough be'ahava, so it was like a tefillah to tell Hashem, okay, um, if we could take a, a, a pause in this Yisurim, because I feel right now I'm not acting the way I'm supposed to with these Yisurim. And then they took back the Yisurim. They weren't upset at the Yisurim that Hashem gave them previous Yisurim. Amazing from Elishon. Whatever they were able to handle, they said, okay, I want it. 
they felt, okay, I think I'm not going to handle this. So they said, maybe on this, and it was it was a davening to Hashem, that it shouldn't be continuous Yisurim, because they felt that I, I, I think I'm not going to handle if, if this situation happens. That's what the, And then they went back and forth with the Yisurim. It really needs to be elaborated more to be able to to be coined of the concept. It means a person. Let's start talk to a regular person. A person has feelings. A person has a level wherever they're up to, and people have to be honest with themselves seeing what's happening to them. Well, let's take a, an example from a total different area in Avodah Hashem, which could help us understand this. Let's take Hachnosos Orchem as an example. Beautiful mitzvah, Hachnosos Orchem. We have so many stories of tzaddikim, even in our generation, this beautiful Hachnosos Orchem, amazing Hachnosos Orchem that's going on, on a mamish, a, unbelievable level. So uh, a younger man or whatever it is, a young person decides, okay, he wants to do Achnosos Orchem. <laughs> and he starts piling in guests into the house. And then he he's new. He doesn't know yet what comes along with it. There's a lot of secret <laughs> parts that usually the storybooks don't bring, or they do, and people think that they're up to that level, and they're not. And then they see that they're falling apart. Now that they're falling apart, so what now? What's right now? So well, a healthy person, a healthy person says, it's amazing, but I don't know if I'm on that level. I'm not going to give up my achnos No, I'm not giving up achnos asorchem, but I think I have to make changes in how I do the achnos asorchem. I should be able to stay sane, and the house should be able to stay a house. Uh, there's a certain level of privacy that a person needs for the nefesh, and it's, it's important, it's important for the nefesh. And I don't want to give up the mitzvah. So they sit and they trial and error, trial and error. Basically a whole life trial and error. But this, you make changes. Someone just told me the other day that Menachem Mondrer, he lived in Shalim, he was unbelievable. He took in his whole life. How many guests? Mamash, Laloi Gvul. So he didn't let anybody sleep over, no matter what, with any yoytzim and akla. Not only that, when it came to eating, he had so many guests that there were people eating in his bedroom. But this is the chap. This is the chap. He bent over backwards. Fachnosis Mamash, unbelievable. But he also had boundaries. <laughs> and chazal, chazal, he had boundaries. They came to tell him on a certain person, you know how of this person is? He might be Leo Anovi. He should sleep over. He said, I have a claw, nothing to him. Even if it's a Leo Anovi. That's what he said. Now if a simple guy says it, Beseda, because it's hard for him. But he did things that were very hard for him. Now I don't know if the reason was for his nefesh, or the, the reason was stammer boundary, whatever. The zikhach It was just used as an example. Let's take the part of the example, the nakuda, on a regular person. He was a big, he was a baumadrig. But any any pashta person tries something and then says, I don't know if I'm that level, but I'm not going to give up the mitzvah. I'm going to try to even steig. I'm going to try to go weiter. But right now, this is my level. Stalker. Yeah, a person says, I feel this is what I can give. It's hard for me. I'll be honest with you. You don't know my financial situation, but I'm giving it. It's very hard for me to give it. I'm giving it anyways. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to give you more. <laughs> it means I know. Now, it's, it's a gray area. It's always a gray area, but it's it's a part of Yiddishkeit. It's, it's it's so important. It's part of Yiddishkeit. In all areas of Yiddishkeit, in, in how many hours a person sleeps at night, and how early they get up, you can go all the way. What are you talking about? If a person, then, then, then it's a shami if they're going to go all the way. But they're working on themselves. Yisurim is not different. I saw a nice uh, woman ask if Moshe Rebbe did so. There was a family that wanted to come to her for Yomtev. And they were difficult. She knew, she didn't think her family could handle it. So she came to him and she said, I don't know what to do, because if not us, they have nobody. He says, that's not the crisis. 
Yeah, a, per, a person felt that if this family is going to come to the Yantif, it's going to ruin their Yantif. They felt it's, it, it's going to ruin their Yantif. Now, if it's, if, if it's true, sometimes people are not honest with themselves. So, it's really, it's really, really, it's, it's, gray area is not bringing it out strong enough. It's so, so uh, sensitive, this topic. But, if a person feels it's not for them, and it's not right now, it's not, it's not for you. But he knows, he, he, he really admires people that could do it. He says, but I'm not at that level. What's amazing is that in Yesurim and Ambitochen, a person not only is allowed to be honest with themselves, just they should be honest with themselves and have a healthy dialogue with themselves. And only like that, people could actually climb the ladder. Here we have a Mabit that... He speaks Amiroim. We're not on that uh, on that level, but it gives us it gives us clarity. A person's going through going through crisis, going through a matziv, going through a matziv. Now, really, a person could just always say, "This is what Hashem wants," and this is what Hashem wants. <laughs> I'm not going to daven even, but no, you're supposed to daven. So you could have a argument, a husband and wife. You should daven. You should not daven. Just the other day, a person reached out and he said, a person reached out, he said like this, he says he has a, a Torah, a Emes Torah in the house. For real, for real, for real. He says, and his, his wife is pushing him that he should go to Reb Shaila from Kerestir. He should go because there's amazing Moivsim. He says he doesn't want to go. You know why? He says because they taught us there's a Musik of Hashem giving you and going to the Pshayla, or he said, doing Zgulis is as do Nemst. It's taking the Yeshua. I don't know. <laughs> if this is my situation, davening, okay, and this, but to go Prava Moifus, it, it, it's taking. I don't know. He wanted to know who's right. And it's a few levels. It, it's levels. It's, it's Madregis. I can't say specifically this case in Ripsha, you know, but it, it is, the concept is Madregas and even in Tefillah. And this gives us clarity to something that we're always juggling. Trying this question where people ask about if I'm such a big Baal Bitochen, then why am I davening for the Torah to go away? If it's the best thing that could happen, then why am I davening for the Torah to go away? So we had discussed this in the past. But here we have, I'll pee this basically, Kim, clear cut. A new answer, a very geshmaka, simple answer. The truth of the matter, someone that's the biggest madrege in Bitochen, and they're really up to that madrege, there's a mokum loy manata daven. 100%. This is it, this is it. Rabbi Kiba didn't daven, this is what I want. And even, there's a lot of stories, of tzadikim, we had the word that we mentioned earlier from the South Merov, tzadikim, they wouldn't, they wouldn't daven. They wouldn't even daven for the matziv. So Hashem gave them something. That's when Avel at Filosan. He knew it was going to bother them. But on the regular, the regular thing, something happened. He said, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> Baruch Hashem, this happened. What do I know? Until it was a Ruchni is the good thing, but a Nagashmi is thing, or whatever it is. I'm not even a Ruchni is the good thing. A person could daven. A person could daven. They were very worried not to daven too hard. There is such a level. But here we go and we have a madrega of a person that's, he's saying, I'm not up to there. You're saying, Shiurim, you're talking about a high level. I'm not, it bothers me. As much as you're going to preach by your Shiurim, <laughs> that is the best thing. And Hashem knows what, what, what's supposed to happen and Hashem's plan, don't change Hashem's plans. But it hurts. It hurts very badly. So the Mabit says, if you're on that level, then it's not a steer with Bitochen. In the higher level, it's Emes, that this is the best thing. But Hashem created, the, set up the Torah, designed the Torah in a way that a person that's on this level should be honest with Hashem and say, Hashem, I know it's the best thing. <laughs> but I, I feel it's very hard for me to handle this. I know, you're doing what's the best thing with me, but Hashem, you could help. You could help. I'm not at the highest level. I want to get there. I have been talking that you could change it. I have been talking that you could change it. I know that maybe it's not the right thing, but I'm asking you, I'm begging you, help it become easier than myself. It's very hard for me. 
I'm not in the Madrega that I could say this is the best thing. I'm not in that Madrega. The Mabit says that's a tefillah that's appropriate. That's a tefillah that's appropriate. So it, 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 it lets it gives space. Now what a person could do is a person could try to push it. That means mizman lezman. A person should say, okay, this thing it would be hard. Let's say a person is, he says, if I'm going to get embarrassed, it's going to be very hard for me. But I think I can handle it. There's different type of tzoras. Different type of tzoras. A person should should not every single tzora try to push away, because eventually a person is going to be better off when they don't push away every every situation, every every single time. It's like Hashem is saying, so so what's your plan? Every time you're saying not this, not this, not this, something something you should fix. So a person says, I can I I think I can handle this. On, on smaller things, it helps the person build their relationship with Hashem. But this is a, a, a very, very fundamental. It could help people understand the Lohim Veleitzchorner. Also, explanation on that Gemara. On the explanation of that Gemara, they, they weren't boyet be Yisurim. They didn't say, "Please don't give me Yisurim." If they felt the Yisurim reached a level which they felt they're not going to be matzliach, then then they then they asked Hashem, it should go away, and whatever they could. Then they, they they did take it. But for somebody else, you should always be in the You should not be the same. You should go away. Huh? That's for sure. Though a person could always daven that someone else shouldn't have you sued him. Someone else shouldn't have you sued him. That's the appropriate thing. A person is supposed to give it and not make cheshboinus at that person and say, always we daven for others because that's our avoid. That's that's the person's avoid. Always to daven for knesses Israel for the shechina. For, uh, always, always to daven. Now, another answer. We said the lesson answers many. Uh, he said, the lesson gives another answer. How we could see tzaddikim sometimes they they suffer. So he says as a he says that there's another topic. When Hashem wants something to happen, we always have to take in consideration that there is hidden reasons, Kafshi de Rahmona. Like the Gemara mentions in the Mesech Tazbrochus about uh, children that are not going to be Kafshi de Rahmona is very, very hidden things. The Part of the explanation of that Gemara, the, the Novi came to, to Chiski and told him, if you're not going to get married... Hashem is going to take away from the world. That's it. You have a gzera because you're supposed to get married. He said, I, I see I'm going to bring children that are not, that are not going to go with their achayosha. They're not going to be from. The, he told him, you're not going to mix into that. You have a chiv period. Why are you mixing? It wasn't your business to mix into the hidden hanhogus, that Hashem, how Hashem runs this world. You are supposed to do what you're supposed to do. And he got married. He actually took his daughter. He told them, so give me your daughter. And they had takar shoim. That That's how it was. So one of the explanations that Gemara on the word kafshi is that in the end, he did tshuva. In the end, descendants that Menashe, which was a Rosha, that he, that he had, were, 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 were tzaddikim. Kafshi means things that are hidden inside. So you don't, you're looking at the outside package but Bahadi Kafshid Rahman Allah you there's something hidden inside why that's happening. So before we continue, we always know in any situation that you have to take in consideration that there's parts that I don't know. There's parts to the to the story that you don't know. Even if it says in the Gemara Yafashbash with myself, even to any person, you always have to leave space that I don't know the whole picture. And if I don't know the whole picture, then I I I, I go it's always the how do you say? Nekuda, the uh, your your point of the assumption, you always know. I don't know the whole picture. Now it says from tzaddikim, the same way a person is supposed to be down the kaf schus, a person, the chavis avovas actually uses this term. A person has to be down the kaf schus to rebuyin shloim. The chavis avovas says ledoin the kaf schus to rebuyin shloim. What's the you saw it. What's the shoyish of being down the kafs chus Hashem? When someone has a person, when you're talking about people, then down the kafs comes from I don't know the whole story. That's a, that's 
the Shoyrish. I don't know the whole story. Just the other day, it was uh, last week, uh, Thursday, a person reached out to me. He, he told me, you remember I spoke to you a few weeks ago. I mentioned to you a story. I have to tell you the end of the story. What was the Misa? The Misa was that this fellow walked into a restaurant. And he's telling me he walked in because he was not much talking and some mice. He, he had to just take something to be toy him. He was, and he saw this, this Rosh Hashiva, this very harsh of a person, sitting at a table in the restaurant eating. And he felt, it's not appropriate. You shouldn't be sitting in public if you're my mid. Now, he had told me this a while back because he couldn't, he couldn't, uh, he was so upset. He didn't tell me any names. He told me, I saw a person. He's, he's a hush of a person. And he shouldn't be doing that. I don't know what's going on with this generation. He was koching zach and koching zach. He was all upset. Now, a few days ago, he tells me, you're running to a shiva. I, I have to tell you this. You remember I told you that? I have to tell you the end of the story. He says, I was in business. I, I was in touch with someone. And that person that has the same family name as that Rosh shiva that he saw. And he says, I asked him, are you related? He said, yeah, that's my father, Shreya, whatever. So he said, oh, regards, I just saw him. I saw him in this restaurant. So the guy says, oh, yeah, it's his son. This was a shvoga. The one that owns the restaurant is this Rosh Hashim, this his son. And he goes there to be mechazikim. He goes there, he felt so stupid. He, he does. I have to tell you the end of the Maisa. He goes, dafke, yeah, he's mechazik. It, 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 this is all day. These stories are all day. But back to Hashem, being done, Hashem, Hashem the Kaf Schus, is knowing that you don't know the whole story. Hashem is very posh that we don't know the whole story. So, when we see Tadikim Beralahim, besides all the other Cheshboinus, there is Kaf Shid Rachmona. There's a certain part that we don't, that, there's a certain Achno that I, I don't know the Gansam Isaac. Now, the the Leshem is trying to explain that if that's the case, then Hashem is not going to let the Tzadik have Bitochen. Not going to let the Tzadik have Bitochen. Because the system that Bitochen works is so strong that if the Tzadik will have Bitochen, then automatically the situation won't be able to happen. Because it's not shy. Because like the Malach was sitting and learning, the Malach of is called Nefshlita. So what Hashem does, Hashem puts a Pachar into the Tzadik's heart. That's what he says. He puts a pachar into the tzaddik, and he says that al derech, what the Ramban says by lo yichrav lo yistachve. He says the, the Ramban says that what does it mean in mortal lo yichrav lo yistachve? He says it was something that was negative because it put the whole klal into a into a sakona, but Hashem took away the pachira from mortal. He took away the Bechira. Why? Because this is this needed to happen. So this needed to happen, so Hashem just makes it happen. So he says, whenever you see Tzadikim, sometimes it could be that Tzadik didn't have enough Bitochen. But the reason why he didn't have enough Bitochen was because this had to happen. This, this, it had to happen. There was a, a previous Gilgal. It had to happen. So take that into in consideration as well. And every person, it's so important as to have the full picture when a person's going through a massive. So they say, listen, true, I have to do tshuva, whatever it is, but there's a certain amount that I don't know. Now I want to a little bit go with this topic, a drop further. When we were discussing the, the sugi of tzaddik viralo and all that, we had like a bunch of shurim to be makabi su and bahava, which were all based on a chnoah. All based on the ta- on achnoya. A person has to be nichat to the bain shleila. So a per- he gets his surim, he gets his surim. Part of being a nichna is being able to live and behave in a way that listen, I don't know. A person that says any idea is a nichna automatically. Is a nichna. There's, there's certain people you can watch them. They they know everything. There's a name. How do you call them? They the, they know everything. Know it all. No, it all. Then you just say altsvices. Altsvices. A person, but for themselves, zikr for others, zikr for others. 
as much as we learn the topic that a person is supposed to chuva and should figure out what he's supposed to fix, that's because a person is always supposed to be in the mode of chuva. So if he got a little whatever, so he's continuing to do chuva. Of course, I'm doing chuva because I'm supposed to be a, a kind of person that's always busy doing chuva. But always, 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 the part in the mind of he doesn't know is I'm, I'm a nichna. Now I want to explain this. Something I don't. I, I think we never mentioned this. There's two types of ways a person says I don't know. One is a gaiva, and one is and one is anova. It's totally opposite. There's 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 a there's a there's a, a simple answer. I mean, mefrekta mensh. A person knows he did an avl. A person knows he did a very big avl. And he got and Hashem punished him. And he got he right away he right away he got a punishment. Let's talk about a simple case. He 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 was he was very very bad. Been on lechaveda, terrible. The whole the whole street knows. Machlokes and 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 embarrassing people with rabim. And Hashem gave him punk lachmida connected mida. That means I can pon him around. Now such a person that says, listen, was very me. He says, and he goes on and on. This I don't know is called gaiva. It's called saying, I don't know, maybe him. And not doing me for sure not. That's the kind of any idea that's got. But then we have the person which that he has to fix is simple. No, does a portion. Even when it's not such cases. He says, what do you mean? Why Hashem is doing this to me? First of all, he's saying. First of all, I have so much to. to I, I owe so much to the boy in Shalem. It could be many things. I owe a lot of people money. You can owe someone slash someone's tires. He says, "Who do you think did it?" He says, "I don't know. I owe fifty people money." It could be any of them. So the, the person's concept is it's not going kasha. Why I'm having you sued? The 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 the, the, the Shmuel Saloshin in Chovetz Chaim Shmuel Saloshin mentions. He quotes the Chovetz Saloshin. That, that a person is always in a matzav. He says, Why? He says, What should a person be thinking? I love Hashem because He's doing me toivus. Because simple math, with the amount of Avera that I did in my life, it doesn't add up to have such toiva. So the, I have an answer. Hashem is being marich af, and is being malam ay, and He doesn't want to give me lefi my Avera. And He's being native to me. He's, he, he says, I'll, I'll wait. You please do tshuva. So the person loves Hashem. It's one plus one. A person loves Hashem. He says, he, it, it doesn't add up. If a person makes the richtig of course he loves Hashem. Hashem is giving me more than, than, than I'm supposed to be getting. Now, when a person gets his student, he says, listen, that I have to fix it simple. Oh, but in addition to that, I'm so small. Was <laughs> basic. There's so many other other He adds that to the picture. He draws a picture which he he, he says of midam alis. It's a zicha. It's a zicha. As a is the whole picture. I'm, I'm clear. Imagine by two people, one would tell the other that I, I, I know as much. Uh, you have it. People when they try to be menacham oval or whatever, if they're smart people and they went through, they say, listen, I know I went through a lot of things in my life, but what you're going through, I, I know for sure that I can't. Possibly uh, re- relate or feel what you're going through. There's no way. So, so, some people, so, some people come in. They say, "Listen, I can imagine what you're feeling." And the guy is saying, "No, you cannot. <laughs> no, you cannot imagine what I'm feeling." This is called a nova. The nova when a person goes through a matziv, we watches other people go through a matziv. He says. There's a lot of media connected media. When I have to fix things, it's zikha that I have to fix. Zikha. And, and, and it makes sense. And when I have to fix I'm also a shvach about kishin. So I have to fix that I know the whole picture. He's adding that. When you're doing that, be aware. When you're adding that in the right way, you're adding hachnoa to the picture. And when you're adding hachnoa to that picture, you are doing good. It's not only that it's an answer in case someone asks you by a, a, a symposium, by a symposium, symposium, so you should say, listen, we don't know. No, you should always add this to any 
assumption that you make in your mind by a matziv, and I also for sure don't know the whole picture, right? It's stupid to think that I know the whole picture. So you, when you add that, you're being a nichna. And when you're being a nichna, we had learned, you're connecting to Hashem. You're having kapor you, you You're being in the, in the right state of mind that you're supposed to be being. So the Leshem is using it also when you see tzaddikim. So you don't ask the question. Because you chap. Now, let's just finish off. Now that we're before Lagba Oyman. That the Gemara, Mesech Tez Brochus, says that Moshe Rabbeinu asked the question, how could you have sometimes Tzadik V'Raloi, Rosh Hashem So Hashem answered him, Tzadik V'Raloi, Tzadik Ben Rosh, Tzadik V'Toivloi, Tzadik Ben Tzadik. Rosh V'Toivloi, Rosh Ben Tzadik. Rosh V'Raloi, Rosh Ben Rosh. That's what the Gemara says. Now this memra originates from Rebshim Barichoi. Rebshim Barichoi. Now Rebshim Barichoi, it's a Zoyar, he mentions that this whole concept of a Tzadik Gomor. We know Rav Shem revealed Pnimi Yusat Torah. He revealed all secrets of the Torah. Rav Shem teaches a person, whenever a person learns, whatever they learn, they should always remember that this deeper, there's something hidden, there's Zichas secrets behind this Shura. A person is learning Nigla. You learn English, you're supposed to understand it, but you always know there's, there's more dimension, there's zikha. Because even simple, the, 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 you can always see the svarim, and then it goes on and on and on. If Shimon teaches a person that that's how you look at a situation. You see a situation, you say, listen, there's many answers, but after all my answers, it's bore. This topic of tzaddik, virali tzaddik ben rosha, really is mentioning and reminding us of the music that's called Gilgulim. That's the that's the concept. I think it's not the whole picture. You know, when a person, what's amazing is when it's a get good for a mensch, first in Baruch Hashem, he's set up, he has his children, he has his pronosa, he has his office. Baruch Hashem, okay, not everything every day. Okay, that's that's normal. When things are clapping the way he's imagining, that's when people see that there's nothing deep to it. What's the problem? I'm Baruch Hashem, very handsome. <laughs> He doesn't see anything, what's so hard to understand. When something goes wrong, he's saying, one second, when he was doing well, it made no sense. Because he said, it didn't make any sense when he was doing well. He was, wasn't living up to it and reminding himself that there must be something, there must be episode grandmother here, that, that because why would I have partners? So, yeah. We, that's really that's called that Rosh of a person doesn't have to call himself a Rosh I mean the Balatani says that that's the very truth but he says Zacheshben if I have Parnosa it must be up as a grandmother Samuzayn there's something deep to it so he always reminds okay so I have to do Tshuva I'll call upon him just to just to, to finish this up so we had the topic First, we did, the first part of the show was Bukhlal, something else, talking about the Art Sadiqim that accepted this few levels to be talking. But the second half of the Shia, we said, what other answer is that Hashem, there's, some, so, there's a lot of things that have to happen. Samuz Gishen. And Hashem, what Hashem does is Hashem makes sure it happens. And if Hashem needs to take away the Bitochim from the Tzaddik, He will do that as well because was the this, this needs to continue on. Now, if a person remembers this part of the picture that always is Bahadi Kash Rahman Allah it helps him be a nichna. And a person is a nichna, then they're gonna be Makabal the Yisur and Bahava. And then they're gonna really do what they're supposed to be doing while they're having this Yisur and really bring a Yeshua. So this is a little bit ashlomas, the Sugi of Tzadik Viralai, when a person learns all these answers and chazes them and and starts to Put one on top of each other to situations. So it, 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 it's always there's always one or many of the answers that's so simple to relate to a matziv. And mid them we are almost with spal. There should be toiv and and it should be good for the tzaddikim. And let's not forget the topic of tzaddik. Tzaddik gave them good. There are yotzim and klaus, and they have answers. What? Hashem takes care of the tzaddikim, make sure they have a good, beautiful life.